So we got Remy over here. He's doing a little port matching this morning. We got Jacob. He's about to put some new wheels and tires on this GT500. So let's go check that out. Got a Hyundai Veloster here. Um, not a real popular car to build and mod just yet. There's not a whole lot of stuff out there, but this guy's doing stuff that nobody else is doing. He's got a big turbo setup. Um, I think there's two cars in the world that have what he's got going on. He's making over 300 wheel horsepower, but we're trying to get some of these intake air temperatures down and cool down everything. So we're putting a uh, methanol injection kit and hopes to do that and get them a little closer to 350. I'm getting ready to install the battery and the wires to power this, this meth injection kit that we put on this velocitor. If you want to take, take a look at the back, I'll show you the uh, pump. It's all hidden nice up under the, the spare tire area. There's the tank. And the line. The whole point of this is to, to cool his vehicle down. It's it's making some some decent power, so it, it's to cool everything down and make it run a lot stronger. But yeah, all the lines are going to be hidden up under the car. The tape feed and the... I'm getting ready now to finish wiring everything up. I have one more line to run to the intake for the nozzle to spray the mess and to run a few wires to the fuse box. And then after that, I think we're ready to test this thing out. Normally produces 201 crank horsepower, and we almost doubled that. So 
I'd say everything he's done, it's a win. Couldn't ask for much better. You have to get your hands a little dirty, but always keep plenty of soap, plenty of rag oil, maybe a few good friends. Let's get everything done. The luxury of a lift is really nice when they sing, but still possibly done. So we took this thing to the track this weekend. We wanted to see how it performed in stock fashion. Um, these cars are pretty quick. 2009 BMW 135i, uh, twin turbo charged, inline six. BMW built a pretty cool car with this, but it didn't handle that well at the track compared to some other cars that usually do. Um, brakes did well, tires did not. Straight line speed was good, uh, corner speed was not. A lot of body roll, tires were all over the place. We got a cheap 420 tread wear tire. I've never even heard of these things. Um, we're hoping with some small improvements like some new tires, new brake pads, steel braided brake lines, new rotors, uh, that we can actually turn a whole lot better time. This track has another event coming up in October uh, the same exact event that we took this to so we could make a few changes it would give us just enough time and we can see what just a change of a small few things could really do.